Hey YouTube, this is uh, my first webcam video, and um, what's pretty cool is I've got some progress on the Ruby. Um, it's it's been a day since I up I uploaded the sad news video, and um, well no it has not been a day actually. It's been a day since I recorded it. Um, it's been about maybe 15 minutes. Um, I uploaded I, I tried to upload it yesterday, but the internet crashed. So yeah. As you can see in the background, you might be able to see the ruby, but that's not the complete ruby. It is just the disassembled case. The whole computer is in pieces. Um, the launch board, the CRT, and all that is down there. Um, the launch board's there, over there, and the CRT is there. Um, you might wonder what they're doing on all the speakers and everything, all the cages. and um, Basically, when I open the computer, what I found, I've thrown most of the pieces in the in the trash now, but you can imagine how severe this was. Um, found more bits of plastic, and there's plastic everywhere. But basically, this was really the only solid part left of the whole bezel. Like from here up, it was just from here from here up, it was just cracked. So I'm actually going to keep this piece and put it on my wall because it was my fir first ever computer's. Actually, there's a story to that. That isn't my first ever computer. My first ever computer was thrown out years and years and years ago. Um, it was a Blueberry... Whoa, that's bad. It was a Blueberry iMac. Oh, I've just, if you're wondering what's bad, my keyboard's real screwed. Basically, yesterday, my other one... Yeah, um, it's my other one because I have an Intel Core 2 Duo iMac. With a, unfortunately, with a broken screen, so that's why I'm always glancing away from the camera because I'm using dual displays. The screen's like, like imagine the screen's over here. It's like it cracks down like that and goes all the way down, and it's got like bits up here that are weird, weirdly broken. There's a story to that. The blueberry, it was a blueberry 350 that I bought for twenty dollars off my school. I've never ever had to pay for another computer again for my school, including this Core 2 Duo iMac. Yes, it is a Core 2 Duo. It's um, Intel Core 2 Duo, 2 gigahertz, um, it's broken screen, 80 gig hard drive. Someone took the 160 gig, um, and it's being held together. By, I think it's being held together by sellotape. The computer. I could be wrong. Someone might have just stuck some sellotape on there, but that's the sellotape on the side. It's um, yeah, it's got a gig of RAM, so I'm going to be upgrading it soon too, because I've sort of, I'm sort of, in some ways, or in, um. Some way or another, I'm going to be getting either a brand new Core i7 iMac, which is um, going to be pretty cool, or I'm going to get the screen fixed on this one, because as you know, I have a lot of computers, about 23, which is a lot, but right now my room is pretty tidy. I've packed them all away into my, up there, my, all my closets, they're all right at the top. Um, yeah, and they're all there's lots of crappy ones up there, and there's a G5 iMac case. And well, I'm going to. I'm not going to throw out all my computers. I'm going to throw out the junky ones that don't work. And if I throw out most of them, if I keep my room, you know, just tidy, and not all this crap everywhere, I my dad will buy me a brand new Core i7 iMac. But if I just keep my room tidy, because it used to be in a mess, there used to be computer parts everywhere, and. It just used to be a ridiculous mess all the time. Um, if I keep my if I keep my room tidy for a few weeks, uh, he might he's gonna buy me a um, screen replacement. But if, if that doesn't happen because of the February earthquake, I'm getting about three hundred and sixty dollars worth of damage. You know, damage money because lots of my computers are broken in there, and I'm going to. And because my birthday's coming up soon, hopefully I'll get a bit, a bit of cash for that. I'm going to maybe last year I got three hundred dollars, which was a lot. It was a lot because it was um, it was a lot of uh, there was a lot of people that I knew that were giving me presents, which was pretty funny. Um, that's when I bought my scooter. I've got a MGP, pretty basic one. I've upgraded it a lot though. Yeah, back to the Ruby iMac. Um, right now, I'm actually starting to fix it. I have um, the CRT, I've tested that. That's all good. And now it gives me a chance to get all the cra absolute crap that are built up underneath the CRT and all the years I've had it running. And it gives me a chance to replace the PAV video board. 
because I noticed it was flickering the screen. So I've got a I've got a replacement. So I'm just gonna put that put a replace the pad the pad board board. And the other thing is because as as I said before, I don't want to pull apart a working iMac. One of the ones that I'm getting from my friend getting back from my friend because he doesn't want them anymore is a working screen. So hopefully the Sage might benefit from that because the Sage still works. It's got a 40 gig hard drive from my old eMac, which both of the power buttons broke. Um, the power button, the connector that connects the power button on the, on, on the case to the inside of the case broke. So it doesn't, it doesn't work. And so, yeah, so hopefully um, I'm going to have some better news and we're going to see the Ruby up and running some more. And we're going to see the Ruby doing some stuff. Because I was going to do a week with a G4 and a week with a G3. Are they obsolete? Like Adric22 does. He didn't do a week with a G3 because it was so slow. But I think I could cope with a G3. So YouTube, um, hopefully we'll, find, we'll see something good happen pretty soon. And that's all I have to say for now. So, bye.